Hey everybody, my name is Alex, and in this video we are going to go over how to mount or pass through a hard drive on your Proxmox container. So the scenario here is I have a host that Proxmox is installed on. I have already some containers using a virtual drive set up, but I've added some SSDs with data on it, and I want to pass those SSDs through to each of my different containers. So I'm going to start out with uh, this Romeo 1, uh, Romeo 01 node, and I want to pass a drive through to it. So the first step we're going to take, and this might, I might have to take a second to make this show up here. Yeah, it's not going to show. Okay. Uh, there's a little pop-up here with my shell. If you've used Proxmox before, you know what I'm talking about. All right, here we go. Let me move it into the center here. And we're going to be following the instructions that are actually found on um, Hake Hardware, uh, hakehw.smeshy.com. I've got uh, some articles here that I'm going to keep adding more. This one is add a drive to the container in Proxmox. And this is specifically going to help with uh, the situation that I'm talking about right now. So we're going to start out by getting the UUID from our Proxmox host. So in Proxmox, I basically clicked this shell button that you can't see. Hold on. Oh moving the wrong thing here oh, that doesn't work either uh, shell there we go all right sorry about that I am NOT a pro at this so up at the top left there is a shell or top right there's a shell button can't really there we go you can see my mouse now I think uh, shell here I clicked that that brought up this terminal and the first thing we're gonna do is find out where or what our UUID is. Whew. Fun start to this one. We can do that with lsblk-f. And I have a ton of drives here, but for this scenario, we will pretend that I want to mount this SDA. It has uh, it's two terabytes, but only has 1.1 terabytes available. Actually, let's start with post data one. I've already got this mounted. So SDC, I would grab this UUID. That's the first step that we want to do. And I know you can't read the instructions here, but I'm literally following my own instructions. And the next thing you're going to want to do is create the directory that you want to mount that SDC drive to. And I always mount mine to media. So if I do ls-l slash media, we can see I have folders for each of the drives. I have 12 drives in total that I'm going to be mounting. I have 12 containers. I'm going to pass a drive through, a two terabyte drive through to each of those containers. So I've created a post data 01 and to do that I would just do make dir media post data 1. And since I'm already in the root I don't need to do sudo. Next thing we're going to want to do is actually add that drive that we are got the UUID. We want to set it up in FSTAB or F file system tab uh, to mount automatically. So if we go uh, nano etc FSTAB, we can see that UUID is going to be mounted to post data one. EXT4 is the um, what is it like the partition not the partition type maybe it is a partition type I don't know why I'm blanking on exactly uh, what that is then defaults no a time no fail uh, those are the ones that I always do and then zero zero and now we've got the uh, you'll do control X Y and enter to save that and we are good to go. You'll do uh, mount-av to mount the drive that you just created the entry for. And then you'll, you're going to want to go in and start your container. So let me just 
hide this and we'll go in here and let's just pretend you know I've started Romeo 301 you can either do this in your I prefer to do this in through SSH using one of my users so let's actually bring up Termius here and we were in Romeo 3 so we'll go back Romeo uh, I don't I don't know why I said Romeo 3 but we're talking Romeo 1 and in here you're going to just create that mounting directory so even though I, I created a mounting directory already in my Proxmox host now I'm creating a mounting directory in my Proxmox container and although I named it post data 01 in my Proxmox host because I'm going to be mounting this and it's only the, the only drive that I'm going to be mounting to this container I'm just going to name the mount point post data and we're going to eventually be mounting the drive to the container which is why we need to create another mount point so it's kind of weird it's like you install the drive you mount the drive to your host your proxmox host and then from your proxmox host you now mount it to your container so it's kind of like a weird pass through thing surprisingly the performance is still outstanding and uh, once you create this post data directory you can then turn off your node you don't need uh, your node anymore and in fact, you need to reboot uh, your node if you don't turn it off now. So you might as well just turn it off now. And let's bring Chrome back up. And actually, we also want the shell here. So looking back at my instructions, we just created the directory mount point on our container. And the next thing we're going to want to do is modify our container config to actually have it pointing to our container mount point. So instead of typically, if you're going to add a drive, you know, to an operating system, you would just update the uh, FS tab like we did earlier for the host. We would typically do that on like our container or our virtual machine. But because we're passing this drive through, we are going to actually set it up in the config. So we'll do nano etc pve lxc because we're doing containers and then we want our container id and that was 301.config so conf and we can see for mp0 that's my mount point zero because it's my first one that i'm setting up the first mount point we put is the one for the proxmox host so if you remember i did media post data zero one and then in the container, I just created media slash post data, and that's it. So I've now passed through that first SATA drive that is two terabytes to this. So I'll control X, you would do control X, Y, enter to save. And you can actually just start your container now, and it'll mount automatically. There's no need to create an FS tab or entry or anything like that. The drive is automatically going to get mounted when you turn on your container when you do it this way because it's reading from the config. And when you get into your container, uh, let me just shut a few of these things down here. You can do df-h and you can just confirm I now see SDC is mounted to media slash post data so we're good there's nothing else at this point that I need to do and it is important to note that you can still use your file system uh, FS tab on your containers so if I do sudo nano etc file system tab you can see I'm using it still you can see I'm configured for base system because it's using the config file for the container. But I still use it to mount a shared drive every time I start up this container because I have some full files and stuff that I want to get from my shared drive. So you can still use your FS tab on your containers, but when you're mounting and passing through a drive, you want to do it with the config file. So hopefully that's clear. 
Um, there's also, of course, the blog post. You can read through it and get all the commands from there. I've stopped pasting the commands in my descriptions. It's just a mess uh, trying to format stuff in there. So feel free, check the description. I'll have a link to the blog post. You can follow along in the video and the blog post and you know do whatever works best for you. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and this helps you out. I will see you in the next one.